So we're at the end of day 1B in Budapest. I'm here with uh, Ricardo Sosa from Portugal. How are you, Ricardo? Oh, I'm already out, so I'm not very good. But uh, that's tournaments. I don't get much luck. I, at first level, I I get some premium hands, and uh, but uh, get no action, or the flops were very bad for my hands, and uh, I don't get much chips on first first two levels. Then I start uh, uh, getting my stack lower. And uh, I I get some somewhat short. How, how how much chips did you have when you moved in with the ace? Uh, I I was on the small blind against big blind, and uh, I have uh, uh, only uh, six 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 thousand stack, mm. and uh, I raised to six hundred on one hundred two hundred level, and uh, the other. Uh, the big blind call the flop was uh, ace jack eight I made a standard continuation bet with the top pair uh, and uh, the uh, that was uh, almost three thousand in the pot I only have uh, three thousand behind mm. and uh, the turn was a night. Uh, the pair, the, the button card on yeah. the, the board, and two flush draws on the board, a uh, lot of draws, and uh, uh, the eight. Uh, actually, I, I, I was thinking you, it was a good card because any ace uh, with better kicker uh, now w would split, split the pot because ace jack would raise on the on the flop, ace queen, ace queen, king would uh, re-raise pre-flop. And so I say, I think uh, this is a split pot, or uh, I don't gonna gonna give odds to him to to draw to uh, to out draw me on the flash draw. So I I shove uh, and uh, he uh, he call uh, with the uh, eight six pre flop and the uh, button pair on the flop. So uh, I can do nothing about that. Have you played against him before? I think it was the Dutch yeah. player Rolf Slotpom, right? Yeah, yeah. he play he play a lot of EPTs uh, and uh, okay, but <laughs> <laughs> it was unlucky. Well, you, how many uh, Unibet Opens have you played so far? Uh, this is my second Unibet Open, but uh, next one in Villamora, I gonna be there for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, that's yeah, gonna be on home soil. My country, yeah, it's, it's gonna be very great. Great because uh, Villamora in May the weather is is awesome and the place uh, the place is is very beautiful is a wonderful place uh, I I think uh, the the players gonna love gonna yeah. love that yeah so, so you would tell people to try to uh, qualify for the tournament yeah for sure I, I think it's gonna be one of the the most beautiful places that Unibet Poker Open. Uh, uh, would be this this season, so it's gonna be. Uh, uh, I'm not from Villamora. I am from other <laughs> other city in my country, but uh, Villamora is uh, where a uh, lot uh, lot of people from other countries, England, uh, and uh, uh, go for on vacations and uh, even even not vacations. People who retire retire go live uh, from England. A lot of people go. And uh, other rich countries go live for Villamora and South Portugal. Uh, they really enjoy the lifestyle there. A uh, lot of golf courses, uh, awesome food, and uh, everything that uh, you have. Everything there. Beautiful beaches, weather, all always, always good. Uh, all, all year, all year round, all, always awesome. So, would you say May is a good time of the year to go there then? Uh, this the weather in last last years has been crazy. Yeah, uh, there is some. Uh, there is no. Now there is no summer, no 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 springtime, no the. Uh, it's always nice. Yeah, but uh, in Al Algarve in Villamora, I think we don't gonna have a surprise in May. Usually, usually we get really nice weather already in in Villamora. Sounds good. Okay, I hope for better luck in Villamora then. Thank you, Ricardo. Okay, thank you too.